Hey everybody, it's Lady Led. Today I'm in the kitchen because I was inspired by Granny Karma. Uh, maybe a month or so ago, I don't know, I'm losing track of time, but she made some sea moss gel, right? So that inspired me to make my own and freeze it. So today I wanna show you how I freeze it so that I can keep it and use it whenever I need to. So I got my sea moss from a place called Derek's Product. Um, it was a recommendation from a friend because you don't want to just get it from anywhere. But it came in this cool burlap sack. Oh my goodness, look at all that beautiful sea moss. So it starts out, you know, crunchy and dry. So I had to soak it overnight. This is what it looks like afterwards I, and I made sure I covered it because I didn't want anything to get in it but look at that it expands so huge so you can only use a little bit I still ended up putting too much in here and I had to give my daughter some she wanted to make some something for her hair with it so this is what what it looks like after it expands and I'm sure you've heard this everywhere, but you don't throw this liquid away. This goes in some plants. I've been pouring it into my okra pot outside. So <laughs> my okra seems to be liking it okay. So it must be very nice and nutritious. But anyway, it's soaking. Now it's time for me to rinse it off and get it into my blender. All right, so I just gave this a good rent. You might want to use filtered water, but I'm just going to now transfer this to my blender. All right, and now I'm just going to add some filtered water to this. I'm going to fill it up to just above this sea moss. All right, now some people add lime juice. Um, they say it cuts down on, I guess, the, the fishy or the seaweed taste. This has no taste whatsoever. Um, so I'm not gonna add any lime juice because um, I usually use this for my smoothies. And if I want lime juice in my smoothie, I'll add it. But I just like the no taste that it has. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this up. And then we'll get it poured into my silicone muffin pan and put into the freezer. You know it's ready when it's nice and smooth and yet thick. So you could use it like this, about a fourth cup, add it to a smoothie or whatever. For real? <laughs> you did that on purpose. Anyway, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh. Okay, so this is actually ready to use like this. Um, I like it in smoothies because it adds smoothness. And I did some looking into it and, and it actually um, has been used to make things smoother to make make food smoother so like it's been used in ice creams and like uh milk products like chocolate milk i think they add it to some almond milks it's not going to be on the ingredient list as sea moss it shows up as uh carrageenan and forgive me if i'm not saying it right i want to freeze it in portions that i can use um in a rush i've just put this whole thing in a plastic bag and just laid it flat 
that's not ideal. What I want to do, have it in these little small portions right here so I can take them out of the freezer and that'll not just add smoothness but coldness to my smooth. So let's get them poured in. I prefer the silicone because it's super flexible and easy to get these out of. All I'm going to do is pour a little bit. I'm not going to fill it to the top. Is this really about to make exactly a dozen? What? Look at that. No, nah, some left over. <laughs> That's all right. That's probably some I just should have put in my smoothie that I was gonna make today. All right, time to get these in the freezer. All right, these will probably take maybe three or four hours to freeze. So I'm actually gonna set a timer because I don't want them sitting in here getting frosted over. I actually wanna take them immediately out of the muffin pan and get them into some storage bags and then put them back in here. So we'll be back. All right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's been three hours. Let's take these things out. Now I'm just gonna label my storage bag. Put today's date. Now it's just a matter of getting them out of the muffin. Ooh, you can see that wanted to come out. All right, it's, ooh, it's slippery. Seamoss gel is slippery. Be careful, y'all. Ooh, yeah. And I'm just putting them into my bag here. We got them in a single layer. We're gonna seal up our bag and put them back in the freezer. And that's it y'all so you see i i got them in a single layer and what i'll do is when i need them i'll just come take one out and use it and that's it um i'm i read that they can last in the freezer uh three to six months if you're going to store your gel in a refrigerator just keep in mind don't go past two to three weeks with it um but this is a great way to preserve it and have it ready to use the way I like to use in smoothies. So I'm gonna get these back in the freezer. I'm just gonna sit them right on in here like this. And that's it. It's Lady Led. Thank you for hanging out with me. See you in the next video.